Hello, guys. Um, so, I'm Guilherme Lemi uh, from the IMDT team. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the H5P plugin uh, and what we've been doing with it. So, uh, talking a little bit about uh, the purpose of this uh, plugin, we, it will allow the teacher to create uh, engaging and interesting content through well-known platform. In this case, uh, we're using the H5P, and uh, it will embed it into the Big Blue button. So, uh, with that, we can increase the diversity of tasks and activities that the teacher can use in class. Uh, we will see the demo with the crosswords activities, but uh, we can do uh, whatever the H5P can does can do. So uh, dictation activities, uh, true or false questions, and stuff like that. So how does it work? Uh, a button will appear for the teacher to select it. Uh, once pressed, uh, the activity will sh be shown to the uh, students uh, within the presentation, uh, presentation area. Uh, and for the teacher, uh, it will appear uh, the student's result via the plugin data channel. Uh, it will collect uh, them all. So at any time, uh, the teacher is able to remove the activity uh, from the presentation area and follow along with their classes. Uh, so let's have some demo. Okay, so here on the left, uh, I join with the teacher's view, and on the right, I join with the uh, student's view. And let's see um, okay, let me, the results. I'm going to interrupt. Oh, yeah. I don't think we yeah. see it. Are you? Oh, there it comes through. Ah, okay, go for it. Sorry. Okay, uh, no problem. So, as I was saying, uh, on the left hand side, uh, we have the uh, teacher's view and on the right hand side we have the student's view and so I'm going to play it. Uh, the teacher will move the slides towards the uh, prepared slide and so when the slide has the uh, content for uh, build the H5P it will appear a button right on the bottom of the uh, toolbar of the uh, presentation area. So when we click it, uh, it will uh, change the contents of the presentation area. And we have right there uh, on the right-hand side the contents of the H5P plugin. plugin. And on the, right -hand si on the left-hand side, we have the content that the teachers uh, uh, can see. And so if the students answer correctly, we'll give one plus point. And well, the plugin will get the answer and send through the data channel for the teacher, as you can see right there. And as I said before, uh, you can remove the H5P, and there we have it. So, uh, any questions? So, uh, me there are about 35 widgets for H5P. So now that you've done one, what does that mean for the other 34? Well, uh, the integration is pretty uh, simple. Actually, you just have to download the uh, uh, libraries for the other widgets and install it on your server and uh, get the JSON for the uh, H5P plugin and we'll just render uh, seamlessly on the, uh, for the students and stuff. This is really nice and amazing because not only, it, it ties together quite a few pieces of the comp product. Remember the value proposition I said at the beginning, Big Blue Button is a virtual classroom that enables yeah, right. instructors with, deliver effective virtual classrooms with the, uh, applied tools for learning and live analytics. So H5P provides the applied tool. The left-hand side is the analytics. 
it builds upon the work that we've done with the plugin, which is a really good example. It leverages other open source projects to enhance the capabilities of BigBlueButton. H5P is a very popular project. It's embedded in Moodle. We're embedded in Moodle. Uh, and this is because a plugin we can build this on top of BigBlueButton 3.0 and beyond. And these things can happen in parallel, so the advances of the project can be even faster. So really good work. So again, hats off. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot.